Alrighty, how's it going, my guys? Welcome back to Ranked Double Battles. Oh, so we're just jumping right into a battle. Um, against a Porygon 2, a Grimmsnarl, a Landorus, a Tapu Lele, a Glastrier, and a Rotom Heat. Uh, I don't like that there's a Rotom Heat. <laughs> um, let's lead Alchemy and Lapras. With the Scavalier and Dust Clops in the back. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll try to set up. Uh, what's it called? I just have to decorate on my Lapras. Hopefully he leads with that, uh... Rotom. Rim Snarl and Porygon. Now, I can do one of two things here. I can Dynamax with Lapras. Dynamax with Lapras. Or I can keep it undynamaxed for when he calls in his, uh... Uh, Glastrier. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, Dynama Gigantamax, Lapras, and set up, uh, uh, Max Resonance. Cause right now, it looks like he can only, like, he only has set up Pokemon. So, I'll try and take advantage of that. There's a light screen. There's my special attack rays. Which that did a lot of damage. There's a trick room. All of this, I could. Now I'm gonna helping hand and the Max Geyser, the Grim Snarl, or the Pouring On. Let's do. Let's do the Porygon, because last time I had to deal with the Porygon, it didn't end up very well. Pretty funny that my Lapras is slower than both of his Pokemon. Turn it green. Spirit Break. Why didn't he use it on Lapras? I don't know. But I'm gonna help a hand again and Max Geyser into the Porygon. As far as I know, Porygons tend to not run Protect. Yeah. They usually tend to run Trick Room, Try Attack, Ice Beam, and uh, Recover. Yeah, just get rid of the Porygon. 
I don't need to deal with that. Alright, and then I assume the glass tray is gonna come out now. And then what I'm gonna do is just, again, helping hand, hydro pump. Actually, I might helping hand hydro pump the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Grim Snarl first. Because I don't want him setting up Reflect. And then I can call in a Scavalier once, uh... I assume Alchemy? I assume he's gonna go after Alchemy. Might be wrong, I don't know. Max Quake. That's smart. I'll give him that, that was smart. But it's also rain, helping hand, yeah. Finny's Misty Surge. Alright, I'm going to... I could protect. But I'm going to Helping Hand again. And Freeze Dry the type of Finny. Thank you! Let's see how many turns of Trick Room are left. My Roar Veil were off. Oh! Awesome. I'll protect with Alchemy and Freeze Dry the Top of Finny. So, it's the end of the rain. And that should be the end of his Dynamaxing. Calling us Cavalier. And 
And then I'm going to try to decorate this cavalier. I don't know how fast that uh, that uh, type of Finny is, though. And it has plus one special attack, so... Ah. Dang it. I was gonna say the glass tray has plus two. Oh, I almost had it. He was just a couple steps ahead. I'll give it to him. I'm not upset. Leftovers and life orb. Like I need to know that. It doesn't matter. I mean, you easily could have won without the... If you just would have muddy watered and did that, you would have been fine. The light screen just now wore off. You must have had the... The likely. Yeah, I mean that's. Alrighty, GG's, dude. I feel like if I would have had someone other than Dusclops, I wouldn't find. And Dusclops was the one Pokemon that I was like, I don't know if I should use him. But if I would have had Lele instead, it's I still would have lost because I would have taken out one of the Pokemon. Actually, the Glastrier would have been really hard to take out with the type of Lele, so I don't think I would have done very well. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys later.